So for the longest of time I've been wanting to make a video about why are camera sensors still rectangular? And there was a point to this whole question, but I was never really able to convey that message on a video until I started doing photos with the GH5. Check this out. So to get really technical with this, a camera lens projects a circular magnification upside down image onto a rectangular sensor. See what I mean? Now everyone's going, well yeah, pictures are rectangular. Now you do get different ratios, but the most common ratio that you find in full frame DSLRs, which is something I actually take photos with permanently, is a, call it a three by two aspect ratio. Now on a sensor like this, your standard ratio is not three by two, it's actually four by three. So to break it down, the sensor is this shape, right? But when you switch to three by two, the sensor is this shape. It's a little bit more elongated. You're losing pixels at the top and the bottom. Now, yes, based on the size of the sensor and it's a 26 megapixel or 21 megapixel, whatever it may be, yes, technically you're not getting that full megapixel. You're obviously getting the length ways, um, very similar to how 4K and those things are measured, but you're obviously not getting the vertical aspect of it. So your pixels are slightly coming down, but that's not the point of this. Any true photographer knows it's not about the megapixel that makes a great photo. Now with the GH5, when you shoot in three by two and you take that raw image and you put it into Lightroom and you adjust your crop, you actually see the full sensor size. Check this. Right, now the point of this is that you can do a post crop of something that was not there. Now for a lot of studio photographers or plan shoots and things like that, yeah, that's not really important because you should frame correctly in camera, I understand that, but as a wedding or events photographer, you know that's not possible. Now looking at this image that I shot with Michelle and Zach, that is what I actually shot because she was lifting Zach up and down. And in post crop, I could do this. Now you see where I'm going. Yes, I know full frame and bokeh all plays a role in changing this whole kind of aspect, but we not really cared about that as much as we used to be. People don't really care about how much bokeh you can get all the time because lenses are starting to go down to f0.95, f1, f1.2, and we don't even shoot it at that. We try and shoot it at an optimal position like you know f2, f2.8, where you can get optimal sharpness out of it. My point is when you adjust a crop in a normal image like this, even if it's a rotational crop, you start losing image space if you're keeping your normal aspect ratio. Now this is not about changing your aspect ratio, this is about the standard global aspect ratio which is generally three by two. And that's what I'm leaning towards. Now if we go back to the beginning of the video where I said this produces a circular image, why aren't we just making circular sensors? To explain to you what we're losing at the moment, this is what we're losing. When you shoot a landscape image, this is your image, and the circle is what the lens projects. So when you shoot a portrait image, you're actually shooting that piece. Now let's say you took a portrait shot and afterwards you wanted a landscape shot within it. You could just rotate it out or you shot a portrait shot. However, you were shooting in a room with the bride, it was a last minute shot, dad walked in, whatever it may be, and you shot it and it wasn't 100% straight. When you twist that crop, that rotation in a normal image, it starts to crop into the image. However, if your sensor was circular, you could just complete the rotation and you would never lose any sensor size. You would never be cropping in to your image and losing the actual framing of your shot. You would just be gaining more. So if the GH5 is doing this, I'm not really sure how many other mirrorless cameras or other cameras are actually shooting like this. When you're shooting raw and you don't have a three by two aspect ratio sensor and you're shooting raw and you adjust your crop, do you get more? 
like the GH5. I know with the with the D800 and every single DSLR that I've ever shot with does not do this. It, it does not give you any pixels or any sensor in post than actually shows on the back of the screen when you took that shot. This is actually quite something for the GH5. And I think this type of concept should be seriously explored by camera manufacturers because this changes the game completely. You can really never have too much of a bad shot. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. And I just thought it was something interesting from a photographer that has played with the GH5 and, and actually come across this by complete randomness. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. So wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night. Goodbye.